Hey gang, David Sparks again, reporting back in on voice to text dictation. I just posted a few weeks ago about some of my problems with the demise of Dragon on the Mac and the iOS devices and my concerns about the future. Well, at the time the beta was coming out for the new version of iOS and Catalina and I was aware that they were improving voice control, but I wasn't aware of exactly how much they'd improve voice control. Now, voice control is an accessibility feature that Apple's been adding, but the dictation tools in it are super powerful. So I've been playing with them for a couple of weeks. I really like them and I wanna show them to you. These will all be coming to you in the future with the release of iOS 13, iPadOS, and Catalina, probably in September. Let's take a look. Voice controls turned on in the settings under accessibility and voice control. I've currently got it turned off, but you can see here there's several things you can do. There's, you can set the language, you can add, uh, custom commands and there's a list of commands here. I would recommend going through if you want to do it It's very similar to drag in a lot of the commands like you know wake up and go to sleep and some of the other Commands I've always used on dragon. There's basic and advanced gestures. Here's some of the advanced gestures um, And there's a whole suite of text selection and navigation commands, which are very useful And also text deletion it's basically a lot of the commands we've traditionally had in Dragon, but now it's baked into the operating system. Another thing that's nice is you can add custom vocabulary terms. I've been adding them. One of the things I note, at least in the beta process, is that they don't synchronize via iCloud. So I don't get the words going across all of my devices. Um, I just turned it on on this device. I'll add another one. The other thing I've noticed throughout the beta is that these haven't worked. Um, even though I've got them added when I dictate them, they don't come out and I'll show you that in just a minute. Then there's some additional settings down here. You can actually turn on an overlay. I mean, this is an accessibility feature, so it's it's got way more features than you need for standard dictation. Uh, so let's see it in action. I'm gonna go over to notes here. I've got a new note started. Um, and you'll see when I was in accessibility, I had voice control turned off. You can turn it on right in the accessibility pane, or if you're clever, you can add that accessibility button to your control panel, which is what I've done. So I can just turn it on right there. Once I turn it on, you'll see this little blue button up here. That means the microphone is active. I just don't have the cursor anywhere for it to work right now. Go to sleep. Once I said that, the microphone turns gray and it's off. Uh, however, if you turn uh, voice control on with more than one device, saying the magic command, which I'm about to say, could wake them all up at the same time, which is not necessarily good. That's why I use the uh, control panel button to turn it off and on. But let's get started. Wake up. Now I'm going to start dictating, period. New paragraph. With voice control add active, Scratch that. With voice control active, comma, you don't need to worry about a timer, period. The program just keeps dictating and transcribing as long as you keep speaking, period. It does a pretty good job, period. I find it significantly better than Siri dictation, and the fact that I'm no longer in a timer makes it work better for just about everything I do, period. New paragraph, I am not doing a tremendously good job of dictating in this example because I'm not thinking about my sentences in advance, period. If I start doing that, comma, the dictation gets better, period. Select dictation. Transcription. Move to end. New paragraph. As you can see, this is something light years ahead of what we were getting with Siri dictation in the last iteration of iOS, period. This is really a game changer for me, period. I've been running it a couple weeks and I'm so happy with it that I've canceled my Dragon Cap Anywhere subscription, period. Select Cow Anywhere. Cap Anywhere. 
move to end. As you can see, comma, it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good, period. New paragraph, the best part is, comma, like I said earlier, comma, I don't have to worry about a timer, period. I can just start talking, period. New paragraph, there's a whole lot more you can do with voice control. You can open applications. You can control your device entirely with your voice, period. But speaking as someone who likes to dictate a lot, comma, this subset of features of voice control is game-changing, period. New paragraph, I have filed bug reports about the inability to use my custom dictionary entries, period. For instance, if I say Mac Sparky or Mac Power Users, it's not going to put those terms in properly, even though I've added them to the custom dictionary, period. Select but. Bug. Move to end. New paragraph. Voice control works on iPad, comma, iPhone, comma, and Mac, period. I would give you a demonstration on the Mac, but my Catalina install on an extra Mac is very wonky, and it's not really fair to the software this early in the beta process, period. New paragraph. Ideally, comma, by the time Apple releases this software, comma, the custom dictionary terms will sync via iCloud and actually work, period. Other than that, comma, I'm pretty happy with this major advance in voice-to-text dictation on Apple devices, period. See what I mean? It's really quite an improvement. Uh, of course, there's still work to be done, but we've come a long way on built-in voice-to-text dictation, as long as you're willing to use this voice control accessibility feature. Uh, check it out when the software releases in the fall. And let me know what you think.